Good morning, Holy Trinity. Today is Monday, March the 1st, and you're here with your host, Mr. Gasillus. Please rise for your national anthem. Good morning. We'll begin this morning first with the land acknowledgement that we'll be saying on Mondays and Thursdays. We acknowledge that the land upon which we gather is the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee and the Anishinaabe nations. We recognize that the Brant, Haldeman, Norfolk, Catholic District School Board and its schools have many ties to the Six Nations of the Grand River and Mississaugas of the Creed at First Nations situated on the traditional land of the Haudenosaunee and the Anishinaabe, within the two-row wampum and the one-dish, one-spoon treaty areas. As a Catholic learning community, and as a treaty people ourselves, we strive to build the kingdom of God, where all people are treated with respect and dignity as we move forward as allies towards truth and reconciliation. So this morning, as I was preparing for this morning's prayer, uh, it's kind of funny, I, I didn't want to read this morning's gospel. I started looking at it and be like, ah, no, let's pick something else. And I had something totally different uh, planned. But then, of course, uh, God really placed it on my heart to read this morning's gospel. So it's silly to ignore him. So let's begin and open up our hearts and minds to what God wants to say to us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So this is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. So God, we just open up ourselves this idea of, of forgiveness. We pray that we can be a people of forgiveness and that we can recognize the incredible mercies that you show us so that we too can, if necessary, forgive ourselves and move forward. And so God, uh, as we close uh, the prayer this morning, we just close with the Our Father. And at the end of this prayer, it says, uh, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So as we pray this prayer, we, we pray that those lines with, with new meaning this morning. So we close with, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Morning, HD. I uh, hope everyone had an awesome weekend, and uh, welcome to a new week and to a new month. Uh, although everything is kind of new today with a new week and a new month, some things haven't changed, and that's our health and safety precautions for COVID. So just a quick reminder, make sure you're doing your COVID self-assessments every day before you're coming to school. Uh, make sure you're wearing your masks, both inside and outside the building at all times. Make sure you're washing your hands or sanitizing your hands before you go outside, when you come inside before break, after break, before lunch, after lunch, when you get here, when you leave, please make sure you're continuously 
washing your hands. And finally, remember, we have to try to stick to our cohorts as best as we can. So when you leave your classroom, you have two options. You're either going to the closest washroom or you're going to the closest door and you're going outside. We can't have people congregating the building and we can't have people roaming the halls. So a couple examples, if you want to go to the English wing, uh, so that's rooms 210, 211, 212, uh, do not enter through the construction doors and then roam all the way throughout the building. You need to go to the closest door, which would be the front door or the doors farthest on the east side. Uh, if, you want, if you're in the math wing and need to go to the washroom, um, please go to the one in the religion hall or to the washroom on the first floor below the math wing. Let's uh, continue to work together with these health and safety precautions and make Holy Trinity a safe place for both staff and students uh, to attend. So let's continue to work together. Uh, Titans, if you want to represent Holy Trinity at a board level, and if you want to meet uh, with other student leaders and share ideas about student activities across the board, then perhaps the student senator or student trustee position is for you. If you're interested in one of those two things, please see me uh, sometime before Friday, March the 12th, uh, for more information. Uh, don't forget this Friday's last day for submissions to the HT Jack Chapter Art Contest. Uh, for details, see the posters in your classroom, or if you have any questions, please email Miss Slat um, with her email address. Don't forget, Tuesdays and Thursdays this week is the HT Breakfast Program from 8.20 to 8.50. Stop by the tuck shop and pick up a, a healthy snack tomorrow morning. Uh, 2021 grads, grad pitchers and grad pitcher retakes are this Thursday and Friday. This is your last chance to get in our grad composite, so please make sure you see Michelle in guidance. If you do not have your grad photo or if you want your grad photo retaken, please see Michelle as soon as possible. And finally, summer school registration. Uh, if you're interested in some summer school courses, please go on my blueprint under the continuing education tab. And just wanna end with uh, a wrap up to our Black History Month. As you know, February was Black History Month. We asked trivia questions every day. Uh, last Friday's question was, what is Ma Maya Angelou's most famous book? And the correct answer was, why does the caged bird sing? And the final winners of our Black History Month trivia are Taylor Barnes, Isla Kelly, and Alexis Bowler. So the three of you can come and see me uh, sometime today in the main office to win your prize. I want to thank everyone that participated in Black History Month, a great way to bring awareness and celebrate some uh, amazing individuals. So I want to thank everyone who participated. It was a great uh, initiative. So that's it for me. I'm going to turn it over to Student Council. Good morning, Titans. It's Joyce here from Student Council. And I just want to let you know that new Student Council member applications and co-president applications open from today until March the 10th, which is a Wednesday. You can apply online in the Student Hub. There's a promo about to roll, but I just wanted to mention that this year in the application process, you can either submit an essay, or you could also have create a video to explain why you believe you should be a part of our Student Council or to be part of the co-presidents. Over to the promo. Have a It's Student Council application season, Titans. In the up and coming days, student council applications will be open on your BHN hub. From March 1st to March 10th, students, you guys, will be able to apply for either a student council member or you can apply to be our student council co-president. I'm going to show you now just how to do so. First, you start off on the Trinity Catholic website. You go to the top right and it says the BHN hub. Here you see the two options, Student Council President Application and Student Council New Member Application. Here I am showing you the Presidential Candidate Application. You fill out the required information, continue scrolling down, and eventually you see the last two parts of the application. This is something that is new to Council, so be sure to check it out. Next, I'll be showing you how to apply to be a new member of Student Council. Here, you fill out the required information, like the previous presidential campaign, and here as well, there are two new options to apply. Be sure to check it out, Titans. Also, Titans, in your classrooms, there will be posters with QR codes, so be sure to scan them and check them out. There, it'll link you to our application process through your phone. Welcome back, Titans. I truly hope you all take the time to check out our BHN Hub and see the application and apply for Student Council. It doesn't matter if you're going for President or if you're going for just a Student Council member. We appreciate you nonetheless, and I truly hope that you take the time and check it out. Have a great one, Titans.